Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell, brought to you by Cattle Facts, the deciding factor. In the recent April USDA cold storage report, total red meat and poultry in the freezers was at 2.53 billion pounds. Total meat supplies in cold storage have only been above 2.5 billion pounds once ever, back in September 2017. At the record cold storage, beef and pork made up 19% and 24% of the meat and storage respectively. Poultry historically keeps the largest tonnage in the freezers and made up 55% of the supplies in September 2017. Compared to the September peak, the April numbers show a slight shift towards pork. Beef as a percent of total meats was at 19% this April, same as the previous peak, but pork was increased to 25% and poultry was down at 54%. Beef and poultry in April were down a combined 53 million pounds from the September peak, meaning that pork in cold storage is up 22.8 million pounds versus September 2017. Pork supplies and cold storage aren't record high. That level was set at 700 million pounds in 2015, but pork supplies are at their largest levels since fall 2016. The biggest relative growth to pork supplies in cold storage comes from pork bellies, which at 64.5 million pounds is almost twice the supply in April 2017. Beef supplies have been higher for two months in a row, which is opposite the seasonal trend of making a low in late summer, early fall. Despite the short-term trend higher, total beef and cold storage remains below the 500 million pound mark last seen in January. At 471.5 million pounds, beef supplies are nearly 100 million pounds less than the record high of 568 million pounds in December 2016. Keep in mind, beef production has grown each year since 2015. Year to date, beef production is up roughly 3%, with the year-over-year gap widening through April. Beef supplies and cold storage as a percent of beef production were 22.3% versus 23.4% a year ago April and the three-year average of 24.1%. Beef demand has remained strong both domestically and globally so far in 2018. If beef supplies and cold storage continue to trend higher and start coming in consistently above a year ago, then demand might come into question. As long as beef and cold storage stays consistent relative to increasing production, then modest gains in tonnage would cause less of a concern. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real. The volatility is extreme. The risks are big, but the opportunities for success are there. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 50 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective. Our vision is global. Our focus is you. We provide a direct line of contact with you, our client, to the Cattle Facts team. With our daily updated website, modernized mobile app, or the traditional phone conversation. Cattle Facts, the deciding factor. Become a member at cattlefacts.com.